During medical school, I decided to join the Army Reserves. Between the years 2003 and 2010, I was deployed four times to Afghanistan and to Iraq. So I spent a lot of time there taking care of traumatic amputees. When I came back uh, to the Mayo Clinic to finish up my fellowship, I started researching uh, ways to help that group in particular, um, uh, that being young, active, healthy amputees. So I got into research in materials called porous materials. So these are metals and ceramics that are really um, porous, almost like a honeycomb type material. And the importance there is that tissues can grow into the material and permeate through it and it becomes part of your body. It's direct connection of an implant into the skeleton. It's called osseous integration. And you can then snap on, attach directly a prosthetic leg to that and it becomes much more efficient. The leg is um, more functional, it's less painful. You don't have to worry about the skin or pressure sores or perspiration or weight fluctuation, any of that, because you're directly connecting to the skeleton rather than to a socket around a leg. The actual procedure itself is pretty straightforward. Um, what we do is uh, we open up the previous incision that's over the thigh. Usually people have a previous uh, scar from uh, the injury and or uh, surgeries to follow. And we go directly down to the bone. The bone is, is uh, it's not hollow, but it's uh, almost like a pipe. It has a hard outer edge, and the central portion is bone marrow, and it's very soft. So what we do is we open up the end of the bone, leave the, the entire length of the bone. We only take a little uh, off the actual cap of the bone. And then we clean out the center of the bone, the soft part of the bone, and that is the part that receives the stem. So we have an implant that goes that is um, size matched specifically for that uh, size femur and it gets uh, uh, pressed, pressed bit into the actual bone canal, into the center part of the bone. And then following that, once the pin is anchored in the bone, we take the muscle and the skin and the soft tissues and bring them up and over the end of the implant uh, to this porous metal section so that the, the material and the skin can interact, so that the skin can actually grow into and onto the metal and create that seal that's so important for long-term uh, function and also for defense against infections. It's a really good feeling, especially, um, you know, I, I, I sort of developed this with the military veterans in mind, uh, with the um, combat veterans in mind. Uh, so it's really nice to be able to offer them something uh, because they sacrificed a lot for us, obviously. And so, um, you know, I think it's, it is uh, incumbent upon us all here to sort of use our skill set and knowledge and means to do what we can to help them out. So it's nice to first and foremost help out our military veterans who underwent traumatic amputations and to get their function back and improve their lifestyle. But I'm really excited about the future. I think um, this type of technology can extend to other segments um, and other areas uh, of amputation uh, as well.